Hello guys and welcome to How to Tech. Here is wishing each and every one of you a very happy new year 2023. Well, the year 2022 might have ended, but the era or the dawn of AI art is just beginning. With technologies like OpenAI, ChatGPT and AI art forms like Midjourney, I'm sure 2023 has a lot to offer us. And let's get started. So I just wanted to show you what AI art can do. Right now the pictures that you are seeing in front of you, all of them are generated by AI using Midjourney. I'm sure if you're following my channel, you will come across Midjourney a lot because I am really enthusiastic about the images that are created using Midjourney. I'll be giving the prompts along with these images that you're seeing in your screen. Now guys, in today's video, I have created a small children's story. Let's see the story first and then I'll let you know how I have created this using a combination of both ChatGPT and Midjourney. Once upon a time, in a vast and beautiful forest, there lived a mouse and a lion. The mouse was small and timid, while the lion was mighty and strong. One day, as the mouse was scurrying through the underbrush, it stumbled upon the lion, who was caught in a hunter's trap. The mouse knew that it could easily run away and save itself, but it felt compassion for the lion and decided to help. The mouse gnawed at the ropes that bound the lion, freeing it from the trap. The lion was grateful and asked the mouse how it could repay the kind deed. The mouse replied, there is no need to repay me. I was just happy to help a fellow inhabitant of the forest. The lion was touched by the mouse's selflessness and decided to become friends with the mouse. From then on, the lion protected the mouse and the two became the best of friends. The moral of the story is that a small act of kindness can go a long way. Even the smallest among us have the power to make a big difference in the world. So first of all, you have to come to ChatGPT. I'll be giving you a link to ChatGPT. So for those of you who are not aware what ChatGPT is, let us ask ChatGPT what it actually is. So I will write, describe yourself. Now, look at the answer that ChatGPT is giving me. It says, I am an assistant, a large language model trained by OpenAI. I was designed to assist with a wide range of tasks. Although ChatGPT is now widely used throughout the world, but there are some limitations of ChatGPT, which is pretty much evident once you go to their site, you know. Uh, so let me just open up ChatGPT for you guys from the beginning. And like right over here, which says limitations may occasionally... Uh, generate incorrect information, may occasionally produce harmful instructions or biased content, limited knowledge of the world and events after 2021. So there will be some limitations to chat GPT but having said that it is now used widely throughout the world and it can be your personal assistant uh, instead of nowadays even some of the people instead of googling they'll just come to chat GPT and probably write uh, their query and chat GPT will 90% of the times gives them an accurate answer whatsoever. So, so now we know what is ChatGPT. Let's go ahead and try to combine ChatGPT with Midjourney and create a short children's story. Okay. So I will just say, write a small children's story. So now it has actually started narrating the story of its own. If you are not happy with this particular story, you can go ahead and click on this particular button which says generate response. It will try to again narrate the story but this time with a different plot altogether. So uh, the next thing to do is you can go ahead and paste one one para. So let's say I'm having this five para. I'll go ahead and copy the first para from chat GPT. I'll open mid journey. So let me go to Discord and in Discord all you have to do is you have to slash you have to type in slash imagine and after the imagine prompt you can simply paste the first para. So, one, so that's what I have done. I have pasted one one para and this is the result that I have got from mid journey. However saying that I also wanted the characters to be consistent and a bit cute because it's going to be for a children book. After researching, what I found was if you give these particular prompts at the end, which says, for example, photorealistic, sharp focus, ultra cute, extreme detail, Pixar, digital paint, concept art, wide angle lens and high camera angle with version 4. Obviously, version 4 is now the default of mid journey. So if you include these particular prompts, 
then your character will become far more cuter and now look at the difference like right? so this particular photo it really looks like a children you know something coming out of a children playbook right so guys that's it for this video and if you're liking my videos please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments related to this i'll be happy to answer any of your comments keep creating and happy ai bye bye